Welcome back. Uh, this is Monty once again from DPL Surveillance Equipment. This is um, session number two and relates to cell phone interception. Uh, we're putting more emphasis on detection of um, software or, or detection of, of the fact that you may have a modified uh, spy phone on your hand. You, someone may have given you a phone for uh, Christmas or holiday, birthday or just as a gift. Be aware of the fact that a lot of these cell phones that are given to you for un some, some unknown reason by a, a spouse or, or an employer, or for instance, they may be interested in monitoring your cell phone activity. Now, a lot of you are calling in every day asking me, what can you do? Well, these are some of the things that, that you can do, okay? And we're going to quickly go through them because we have a lim limited amount of time. When I was selling the, uh, the cell phone interception uh, software and the modified um, uh, hardware placed on the phones, we know for a fact that firmware upgrades, again, firmware upgrades on the target phone typically wipes out the software. Changing the SIM cards on the target phone um, prevents, any, prevents the target, uh, prevents the monitoring person uh, who's conducting the surveillance, that prevents them from knowing your, your new cell phone number. So you can frequently change SIM cards and make sure you keep the new SIM card number, uh, phone number private Again, do your firmware upgrades. Look at your cell phone bills, okay? Look for an abundance of text messages because any time I call into a spy phone, if I were monitoring, I will get a copy of the text message, your text, mess, text message, and, a, and an incoming text message to me. So that's going to be a doubling of the, your text messages as showing on your phone bill and a doubling basically of mine because when you get a text message, I get a copy of it. When you send a text message, I get a copy of it. Uh, when you cut on your phone, cut off your phone, I get copies of all of, I get text messages indicating that that has occurred. When you change your SIM card, I get a, 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 a text message indicating that you change your SIM card and now I need to call you somehow and think of a way of getting your, your, um, your new number. So again, look at unusual uh, cell, uh, SMS text message activity. Look at the number of calls being placed to the target phone on the suspected spouse or employer or, 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 your, or, or the friend's phone bill if you can get access to it. Um, see, outside of that, um, you'll probably have to just uh, either change phones, make sure you have a certain phone that's, uh, that you, know, you never allow to leave you, your, 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 uh, leave your, 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 your presence, because there's four ways basically of getting the software onto the phone. And most of these are software modifications. I can get a, 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 the, spy, the spy software onto your phone, either infrared, USB, SMS, or um, a text message. Um, again, I will typically try a t S SMS, USB, infrared, or, 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 or Bluetooth rather, okay? So between the Bluetooth, the SMS, the USB, and the um, uh, the, the infrared and um, those are four basic ways okay of getting that information uh, of getting the software onto your phone so look look out for someone who's trying to uh, get you to leave your cell phone and Bluetooth uh, on um, status because that that's typically a way of uh, getting uh, an attachment or some getting you to open up some sort of program or something to accept something from the from the, uh, the person who's monitoring uh, you know, using the USB cable, of course, and the Bluetooth and the SMS and the infrared. Um, so just be aware of that, that those are four ways of getting the software onto the phone. Outside of that, we typically have to get the cell phone from the target, okay? And uh, this is going to, this should allow you guys to prevent so much of you from being uh, at disease about um, what typically is, is happening with, with your cell phone. If your cell phone is continually getting call waiting beeps and, and, and you're checking your call waiting and, and you're, the person you're talking to, they're getting a call waiting and you can't figure out where it's coming from, your, your cell phone probably has been compromised. If your phone reboots for some unknown reason, um, your, your cell phone probably has been compromised. If the screen freezes up and, and, and you have to reboot it a lot, your cell phone probably has been compromised. You may want to take it in uh, to the uh, AT&T, Verizon store, whatever, had them um, reinstall the software that will typically wipe out or, or cause the software to not operate. Um, there's a number of different things, um, again, that you want to do and, and take advantage of. But try to practice 
use these best practices as a way of protecting yourself. Okay, this has been session two, and we have you. We hope we gave you guys some useful information in terms of how to keep your cell phones from being bugged. Okay, as we publish more videos, we'll keep you guys informed. Thanks again for attending this session. Have a great day. Bye.